Hi Aquarius, welcome in. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. I'm going to take a look at your next seven days. I'll start by pulling you some general messages and then I'll take a look at your love life. If the reading resonates or if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to leave a comment down below. What do we have for Aquarius the next seven days, please? Messages for Aquarius, please. Okay, you have flowers. It says happiness. Looks like a good next seven days for you. Overall, look at that. We have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. We have key. It says successful outcome to your problem. So I feel like last week or some time ago, you may have been facing issues, frustration, and spirit says the next seven days from watching this video, you're going to enter a period of happiness. Uh, I feel like there's going to be some type of resolution here for you. Tell me more. You're going to be feeling better. Okay. I just feel like you're going to be feeling better. Your head's going to be clearer. Things are just looking up all around for you. Let's see. We have bird perch. It says waiting for news package or letter. Some of you guys are waiting for something here. Clarify that please. <laughs> you're waiting for the frustration to be over. It says feeling tied down or frustrated. So I feel like you guys waiting for this energy to pass. It's passing. Um, obstacles to overcome. The hardest part is over. We have torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So learning more about your spiritual self. Okay. You guys have been learning lessons, all right? And I feel like that's what's been causing a lot of the frustration. We do have this two-faced friend that's wanting to come out. Let's see what's going on there. It doesn't necessarily have to be a close friend, but I'm picking up on an energy of someone around you that is being two-faced, could be gossiping. Let's see. Tell me more. feels like there's someone around you that pretends to be happy for you, Aquarius, when things are looking good for you, but they're really not. I don't think this person has your... I don't think they have your best interests, okay, at heart. Yeah, it says, be careful. Do not take risks. And then we have happiness again. It just feels like there's somebody around you that might be depleting your energy because they're a two-faced friend. They're a two -fa I really don't feel like it's somebody super close to you, but I feel like it's an acquaintance, okay? Somebody that you may associate with from time to time. Somebody you may see from time to time talk to you from time to time. If this person is aware of any sort of new opportunities in your life or happiness or like doors opening up for you, I feel like they do get jealous of that. Okay. And it says, be careful. Do not take, take risks. I feel like what this clause trying to say is that be careful not to overly spend a lot of time around this person or overly talk to this person or you know, watch this person's social media, if those of you that are doing that. So definitely um, step away from this energy so you guys can be happy. I just feel like there's somebody here depleting your happiness and you should not be associating yourself with that energy. There's somebody new coming into your life. I feel like there's going to be a new friendship here. Tell me more about that. It says you're protected from negative forces beyond your control. So I feel like there's going to be a newer, more positive person entering your life. And I feel like there is a chance to develop a deep connection with this person. Spirit says when it comes to this two-faced person, I feel like you are being protected, Aquarius, but to, to save your peace of mind, this is definitely telling me to not check up on this person, okay? And then we have butterfly, a change for the better. Yeah, you have a better friendship coming along, a better connection coming along is what it's telling me when I clarified this teapot here. Okay, so... It looks good. I feel like you guys are getting out of some type of heavy energy. 
you're still in this heavy energy. Spirit says the most difficult part is over. It looks like the sky's clearing for you. Give me an angel number for Aquarius, and then we'll take a look at your love life. We have angel number eight. The affirmation is I am successful. It says your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. So with this type of energy, um, it does look like you're going to be successful in something here, but it does require work and it, there will be obstacles. It's never going to be a 100% clear path. The more you try to elevate in your life, the more you try to accomplish goals, you're always going to run into obstacles. And that is a part of the journey. And it's kind of like that energy of like, when you don't have to work for something, it's really not as satisfying as having to work for it. And so I do feel like there's something here you're trying to be successful at the next seven days and you are getting closer and it looks like uh, things are clearing up for you, but don't always, you know, don't think that that's, it's always going to be easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> because there are obstacles to overcome when you are elevating and when things start to get frustrating, that's just because you're about to elevate is what I was trying to say. When things start frustrating you, when things start feeling like very difficult, that's because you're about to elevate. When it comes to love for Aquarius, we have deception. It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So somebody is not expressing themselves. Somebody is not telling you how they truly feel about you. Somebody is hiding, being secretive. We have soulmate. Give me one more. And then we have attraction. Bottom of the deck, we have love yourself first. So you're in some type of soul contract with this person that's being deceptive towards you. And I feel like you have attracted this person into your life for some sort of lesson. Okay, you're learning something here. Tell me more. King of Swords, your energy, that is your energy. Two of Swords. It feels to me like you're ending a cycle. A lot of you Aquarians have recently learned a lesson or you're about to reach that point to where you do learn the lesson and you're ready for something new. It feels like this cycle is about to close out. Whoever was deceptive towards you and I see you attracting new there's new romantic love coming into your life. There's a new soulmate coming into your life. Okay, yeah. So I really see you shutting down and moving on from this energy. I feel like you guys are going to have a sudden burst of energy and excitement to close out this cycle and move on. This is you uh, getting out of a cycle and finding peace of mind, Aquarius. And, and it looks to me like the Aquarius I'm talking to... You're ready for something new. You're ready for the Ace of Wands. You're ready to put an end to something here. In the world, the Six of Swords tells me you have successfully complete a lesson. King of Cups. It's water energy. We also have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Fires here. Yep, you have successfully learned a lesson, Aquarius. I feel like your emotional intelligence has also increased. 
I feel like a lot of you Aquarians, this is about you having an open heart here, especially with this Six of Cups. So those of you that are shut down completely from love, I feel like you're going to open back up to it. But you're going to open back up to it once you get to a point of the King of Cups where you're able to have an open heart but also have boundaries. Ten of Pentacles tells me a lot of you Aquarians are trying to build up your finances. You're trying to be the Ten of Pentacles by yourself. You're trying to be emotionally fulfilled by yourself and financially fulfilled by yourself before you're ready to meet a new soulmate. Okay. But I feel like you guys, this will of fortune's about to turn and you're about to meet somebody new. Tell me more. Yeah. Six of wands. So there's an opportunity to be with a new soulmate is what I'm getting. I feel like the person you're about to meet, it, there's going to be something familiar about them, whether they resemble someone from your childhood or they, you could have shared a past life with this person as well, this soulmate. But there's something familiar about this person. But do you see how this Wheel of Fortune is uh, directly under the Ace of Wands? This wheel's about to turn and... Once you end out this cycle, which a lot of you already have, a lot of you already are getting away from this deceptive energy, or you know, you're in the process of it, the Wheel of Fortune is directly under the Ace of Wands. You're going to learn a lesson, complete this cycle, and you're going to be on to attracting a new kind of person into your life. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. This is your ultimate happiness. I feel like it's, but clarify the six of cups and the seven, I'm sorry, the six of cups and the six of wands. You could be seeing 66 a lot. I'm also seeing 566. Six. You could be seeing that number. Yeah, something worth waiting for. Three of wands, your ship's coming in because you guys are doing the work. You're doing the emotional work, okay, and you're doing the physical work. And you're learning this lesson. And so that's when your ships come in. And you don't have to be like at your end game. You don't have to be at your ultimate goal to receive this. You know, the universe just definitely wants to see you working towards it. Okay. You know, the universe will respond to who you really are and what you're truly doing. So you're going to be attracting the kind of person that is also emotionally intelligent, also trying to get their tangible items together, you know. But there's somebody worth waiting for. Give me one more card, please. Clarify that. Yeah, and you're setting boundaries. Look at that. The Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords. Again, I feel like you guys are going to have an open heart. You're going to be open to love entering your life, but you also are going to have the intelligence, right? Like the queen of swords, male or female, you have that intelligence, you have that perception, you have that directness, and you're going to be able to spot the three of swords before you get in too deep. And I feel like you're just not going to put up with anything that's going to interfere with your peace of mind. You're very, you're going to be emotionally intelligent here. And this is all about you having an open heart with boundaries. So you're going to have a very good balance here. The high priestess is also at the bottom of the deck. So this is about you trusting your inner guidance, your intuition, your inner voice. Yeah, look at that. Really working on yourself. Really working on yourself, Aquarius. Is attracting this new soulmate. I feel like you both are attracting each other. You have, it says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. All right, Aquarius, those are your messages. Bye.